Hello everyone, my name is Matt Armstrong and welcome back to The Pen Habit and yet another pen review. So the pen for today's review is the Delta Dolce Vita. It is one of Delta's kind of flagship pens. Uh, orange and black celluloid. If you've been in the fountain pen community for very long, you've probably seen it. Uh, interesting pen, one I like a lot, a lot more than I thought I was going to. Um, so it comes in this big, gigantic case. Take the lid off, and inside you have some, you know, your standard marketing materials and all of that mess. Um, and then you have this big box. So you've got a, a bottle of ink and this plastic case. The plastic case slips out, and the pen's not in here. I took it out earlier, clearly. But uh, plastic case slips out, has these two little metal screws. You unscrew the, the little metal nut there, and the case slides open to reveal this butterfly-shaped pen holder, and the pen sat right like that. So that's how the pen comes. Or at least that's how the pen came from the, the retailer in particular that I purchased it from. And the model is the Delta Dolce Vita Federico Stantufo. So the Federico Stantufo is one of Delta's, part of the Dolce Vita line. It's a piston filler pen. Um, there is a Delta Dolce Vita Federico, not a Federico Stantufo, and then the Federico Stantufo, which is a slightly different version of the pen. Now this pen was purchased from an Italian retailer called Marte Modena. Now, Marte Modena is based in Italy. It is my understanding that they cannot sell via the internet to people in Italy. They can only sell outside of Italy. Now, I bought this pen seven, eight months ago, quite a while ago. Um, a short time after I bought the pen, Marte Modena began to gather a lot of... People started talking a little bit about it because the prices for Delta pens from Marte Modena were much, much lower than they were for almost any other retailer in the world. Now, I don't know a lot about the, the story of what went on. I haven't done a lot of research for a very particular reason, and I'll get to that in a little bit. But from what I've been able to piece together from a couple of different blog posts and a couple of forum posts, uh, Delta has offered Marte Modena a heavily discounted price on their pens, and they're not, they're letting them sell Delta pens for much lower than any other retailer in the world. Um, it's really quite a great deal. Um, I, I was able to get this pen and a few others from Marte Modena for 50, 60 percent off what it would have cost me had I bought them here in the States. Um, the reasoning behind that, no one's been able to satisfactorily explain to me other than it just appears that that is what Delta has done. Um, some people have postulated that it looks like Delta might be kind of on the rocks um, and that there, this is kind of a Hail Mary pass. I don't know. Um, a lot of people have gotten very upset about the fact that Delta is offering one retailer a much lower price. As, and as, as is often the case on the internet, Fuhrer, you know, it, it takes one person who thinks something isn't quite fair and the whole community kind of gangs up and decides to to rage against the machine. You know, I will say this. This is a pen. It is not a starving child. I have a very, very difficult time getting up in arms over the pricing strategies of a pen company. I just don't have it in me to build up rage against something like that. If you don't like it, don't buy from them. It doesn't bother me too much one way or the other. It's perfectly legal. It's a little silly if it's true, if what I've heard online is true. But suffice it to say, I got a very good deal on this pen. It was less than $300 US. Now, if I were to, buy, were to have bought the Federico version of this pen, which is, has been available in the past in the US, it would have cost me closer to five or $600. All of that being said, here is the pen in question. This is the Delta Federico Stantufo. So I'll talk you through the pen. I may point out a few different places along the way where the Federico Stantufo is different than the plain Federico, which has also been available here in the U.S. in the past and has a few differences. I will say that this pen is only available via Marte Modena, as far as I've been able to tell. So just keep that in mind. Um, so you start off, this is a pretty standard Delta 
design. You've got the black cap, this orange celluloid in the barrel, and you know, more black acrylic at the end here. Start off at the top, you've got the Delta logo at the top of the pen. The black acrylic, which is very nicely polished. On the back it says Delta Italy, and then Dolce Vita, Dolce Vita Federico 0448. I'm assuming this is a serial number. Every Delta pen, almost every Delta pen I've ever bought has, that, has a number on it, so um, I'm assuming that's a serial number. Uh, got a pretty standard clip here with a little roller on the end. Now this clip is very, very flimsy. Um, much flimsier than I would expect for a pen in this price range. There, you've got a little metal cap band here and another metal cap band with, uh, it looks like a laser etched design in it. Now, the, the furniture on this pen is, a, is one of the areas where this Stantufo version of the Federico differs from the Dolce Vita Federico that I've seen online. So uh, a few for instances, the Dolce Vita Sorry, it's a tongue twister for me. Dolce Vita Federico um, usually comes with either sterling silver trim or uh, gold vermeil trim, which is the gold wash over silver. This is, I am fairly certain, steel trim or, or chromed brass trim. Uh, I believe the standard Federico has stamped engraving here uh, or true engraving. This appears to be laser etched, so probably a little bit cheaper and a little bit easier to do. Um, it's a piston filler, so you can see just a hint of the window here, and I'll get more to that. Interestingly, this piston, you'd think, if it's a piston filler, you'd think this is a, a piston knob. It's not. It's actually a blind cap. The piston knob is underneath, and uh, I'll remove the, the cap here so you can see it through the ink window, operates the piston like so. Now, one of the things that's interesting about this, and I've not seen this in other pins, is when the piston gets to the top of the barrel, let's see if we can give it a listen here, It's got a little bit of a, like almost a clutch in there, kind of like a socket wrench to keep you from over twisting it going uh, up. So uh, the piston operates very, very smoothly. Uh, you can see the, the plunger right there through the ink window. Got a slightly tapered black acrylic section and threads. It's a chunky section. Um, and then you've got a 14 karat nib. Now on the Marte Modena site, this pen uh, comes with either a fusion nib, which I've talked about. You can hear my diatribe about the fusion nib in the Delta Fusion 82 review that's here on uh, YouTube, or um, or the 14 karat gold uh, nib. I believe the standard version of Federico generally comes with an 18 karat gold nib. This is a 14 karat gold nib and uh, rhodium plated. This is a medium nib. For the most part, I find this pen to be beautifully made, uh, lovely materials, really refined looking, very, very nice pen. Now, I don't love black and orange as a color combination. I call this my really big Halloween pen. Some people just love orange. Um, <laughs> Brad of pen, the Pen Addict, I'm thinking about you. Uh, some people just adore orange. Um, I'm not one of those people. That being said, I do really think this is a beautiful, beautiful pen. Um, one area where I feel like this is not as refined as most of the other Delta pens that I have used, the threads feel sticky, um, almost like they have been crossed at some point. It just does not operate as smoothly. There's, it's, the threads are not good on this pen. It holds, the cap stays on just fine, but it doesn't feel very, very smooth. Um, I will also say I bought one of these for my business partner, um, and his actually broke right be, right here between the section and the ink window. Just the, the section just snapped off. Now, he's a big guy with big hands um, and probably a little bit stronger and harder on his pens than I am. Um, I have not had that problem at all, but I will say that you know, kind of going along with the kerfuffle of this whole Marte Modena and Delta pricing strategy, uh, some people have suggested that maybe what Marte Modena is selling is um, factory seconds, where they're not quite as perfect as 
what would have, you know, what Delta normally sells as their premium line pens. And so uh, th that's one of the reasons why they are at such a discounted rate. I don't know. It certainly was not sold as a factory second to me when I bought it. It was, that's not on the website anywhere. Um, but I will say that as much as I like this pen and as nicely as it's put together, there are a couple little nitpicks. You know, the, the threading is, is weird and will only mesh one way. And then my business partner did have that break. So that's something to be aware of. Now, this is not inked, so I'm going to go ahead and grab a bottle. This is De Atramentis Indigo Blue. I'm going to go ahead and, and do a quick ink up for you here. So remove the blind cap. I don't often do ink ups on, on tape, but while I'm here. And uh, just twist the barrel, soak up the ink. Got that nice click from the clutch telling me that the piston is all the way extended. Tap a little bit of it off, clean the nib, and we, you can tell here in the barrel, or in the, we've got a very, very nice fill here. And if I tilt it up, you can see it, it filled most of the way. It's got a pretty solid ink capacity, this pen does. So get all of this out of the way, and let's go ahead and do the measurements and a writing sample. So as I mentioned, this is a big pen, and you can see some comparisons here. This is the... Dolce Vita Stantufo, which I believe is about the same size as the standard Dolce Vita medium. I believe it's a medium. I have an oversize. The oversize is even larger. Um, it's a short but relatively stubby pen. So you can see here's the Pelican M1000, the Pelican M800, the Mont Blanc 149. Um, so you can see that's, that's a, you know, the Mont Blanc is a little bit longer, um, but not quite as, as chunky. And then some less expensive pens by comparison. Here's a Pilot Metropolitan, a Lamy All-Star, same size as Lamy Safari, and the Twisby VAC 700. So you can see it's a fairly stubby pen, but pretty, pretty large in size. So capped, you're looking at 141 millimeters uncapped, and there's those sticky threads, um, you're looking at a relatively short 129.3. It's still long enough I can use it unposted, and I do, but it feels stubby, uncapped. Uh, posted, you're looking at 173 millimeters. It's still long enough. It's, it, it's well balanced, especially because it's a piston filler. So if I wanted to use it posted, I could, but it's a little longer than I prefer for a posted pen. Now, the section on this pen is massive at 13.6 millimeters. It's a very, very wide section. So if you don't like wide sections, you are not going to like this pen. The, the widest point of the barrel, you're looking at 14.6 millimeters, and the widest point of the cap is 17.8 millimeters. And then capped, you're looking at 37 grams total weight capped with while it's inked, and 26 grams uncapped. So... Nice size pen, very chunky, very short, um, nice finishes except for the threads. So let's go ahead and do just a touch of writing, shall we? All right, this is the Delta Dolce Vita, all one word, Federico Stantufo. The ink, oh, well, before we get to the ink, the nib is a 14 karat gold nib. And I would guess this is probably, I don't know, it, it looks a little bit larger than a standard number six size. Um, I don't think I have a standard number six, but it's certainly not, well, maybe it is a number six. Hard to tell. It's certainly not like the, the big number eight, number nine size nibs you might find on, on other pens. So the nib does feel just a touch small for the proportions of this pen. Nice and long though. 14 karat gold nib in medium. The ink is De Atramentis. Uh, which one is this? This is Indigo Blue. And the paper is a Rhodia dot pad. Here is your quote.
bad letter Z. Okay, so this pen, I'll, I'll, right off the bat, I can tell you this pen writes beautifully. Um, the nib is ultra smooth, probably I'd say in the top three or four in terms of the smoothest nibs I have ever used straight out of the box. I've done absolutely zero work to this nib at all. And as a result, I get a nice, moderately wet, it's not a drenching pen, but it is, it's wetter than nothing, ink flow. Um, very consistent, super smooth writing experience. I like the writing experience on this pen a lot. Now, I will say that I used to really like big, hefty grips. You know, this is a 13.6 millimeter grip. But the more I use pens, the more I'm finding that those super wide grips tend to make my writing e even more sloppy than it normally is. I don't get, I don't get that same rhythm because I just, it doesn't feel quite as natural to me. I, now, I suspect if I use this pen a lot more often, my grip would adjust. But just out of the gate, that's my initial feel. That being said, it is very comfortable in the hand. Uh, it doesn't have any, you know, I don't find myself gripping or tensing up. I, you know, none of those problems. I haven't had any issues with hard starting. There's no baby's bottom on the nibs. The tines were perfectly in alignment. Um, the piston filler, you know, helps with this, but there was basically no ink starvation. In terms of how a pen writes, this pen writes just beautifully. It really, really does. And this is consistent with almost every Delta nib that I've tried in the last year or year and a half since I picked up my first Delta pen. Every nib of theirs I've tried has been wonderfully, wonderfully smooth and very, very nicely adjusted. Perhaps some of them a little on the wet side, but aside from that, gorgeously beautiful nibs. So the Federico Stantufo falls right into that same same area. Uh, this is a 14 karat gold nib, but this nib is rigid as all get out. This is, this is a nail. It's a very, very smooth nail, but it's a nail. You're not going to get hardly any line variation at all. Um, you just, it, this nib is not meant to be flexed. Um, so if you're looking for a flex nib, I'm, I'm afraid this one's going to be a disappointment. Reverse writing, very scratchy, very dry. It looks like it's drying up, like the feet almost can't keep up with it. A um, little bit of a sweet spot issue if you turn the pen too far to the left, um, which I do tend to do, but I've, in normal, in the case of normal writing, I don't run into that ever. I've ne just really never run into that. Um, so overall, I like this pen a lot. I do wish some of the fit and finish were just a little bit stronger. Where's the cap? Here it is. Um, I wish the, the, the clip wasn't so flimsy. Um, I wish that the threads were a little bit smoother. But those are pretty minor complaints about what is a beautiful sub $300 pen. I've paid a whole lot more for, a pen, for other pens that write a whole lot less good, less good, I talk good, don't I, that don't write anywhere near as well as this one. <laughs> um, so I, I, would, I would recommend this pen. Now, if you're one of those people who feels personally affronted by Delta and Marte Modena's relationship, don't buy it. That's totally fine. I totally understand and respect that. I just can't muster up the energy to, to care that much. Uh, it's a beautiful pen. It writes really, really well. Comes in nice packaging, beautiful nib. And, uh, and if you like orange and black, if you, want, if you want a Halloween pen, this is a really, really nice one with a couple of minor flaws in the finish, fit and finish that, that wouldn't stop me from, wouldn't and haven't stopped me from enjoying this pen. So that has been my review of the Delta Dolce Vita Federico Stantufo, uh, purchased, as I mentioned, several times from Marte Modena. If you have questions about this pen or other pens, uh, or just questions about pens in general, you can leave them on penhabit.com in the comment section on any of my reviews over there, or email me penhabit at gmail.com. Leave them on the comment section here, yada, 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 yada. Um, also, if you're not 
following me on any social media channels, let me recommend you do so. Um, only because I believe in the next couple of weeks I'm going to start doing a live, so, a solo live Q&A. I, once a month I am fortunate enough to do a, a live Q&A with my friends Stephen Brown and Aziza Asgarali from SBRE Brown and Gourmet Pens. Um, sometimes we have extra guests coming, coming along, but in I'm also thinking about doing a couple of uh, solo live Q&As and maybe even inviting some some of you out there to join in the live hangouts with me um, to field questions, that sort of thing. So um, keep an eye out on social media where I'll be announcing it. And of course, if you ever want to support the pen habit, help me acquire the pens and do more giveaways, um, help cover the cost of my time, etc., please think about, you know, dropping me a fin here or there, head over to patreon.com and search for Pen Habit. Uh, there's a support link down below. I also accept donations via PayPal and, and Venmo and Google Wallet and that sort of thing. So thank you as always. I couldn't do this without you, the wonderful viewers. I appreciate you. I appreciate your comments and your thoughts and your insights. I love doing this. I love my pens. It's, I, I feel very, very blessed to have been able to dive into this hobby as deeply as I have, and it's largely because of you. So thank you very much. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you here next time on The Pen Habit.